try one more quick whip. It's nice to have all-wheel drive at this speed, though, man. I haven't really got to speed drift like this in a bit. I'm gonna go third gear. Jesus. Link and cashback code in the description. Going on, everybody. Welcome back today, guys, to the channel Forza Horizon 4. Today's a big day, man. Doing our first ever fourth dimension build. I don't know what to call this series yet, but I figured it was fitting. I watched this kid today on Facebook try to explain the fourth dimension. I figured it was fitting for this episode. I'm not going to really explain too much of it, but we're going to be building our first ever 1965 Pontiac GTO on this game. Uh, I've yet to earn this car. It's actually 50% for this month. Currently have 6%. Now, usually you come on this game, you do the challenges. I don't want to do that. I don't have time to do all these challenges right now, man. I want to drive the car. I have $23 million. We're going to go ahead in the auction house, pick this thing up and start our build for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to slap that like button okay 65 gto 50 percent car now this car has been out for a bit but holy shit 2.6 million dollars looks like the cheapest 2.7 i think i know which one i want but it's possible oh we got the blower on top there 3.4 million dollars that looks like a nice little drag build i had my eye on one of these right there oh geez. s1 874 you guys did miss my last episode yesterday uh I have my drift jam runs that I posted. I do want to talk about them more in depth and kind of go into them, uh, you know, explain what happened throughout the day. I'll do that in a later episode, but uh, just for right there, it's just raw gameplay footage. I personally love doing that. It just, you know, it gives you a chance to really just experience what I experienced at the track without having anybody kind of talking to you or kind of explaining it for you. 12 minutes of just raw footage, uh, you know, kind of chopped down, multi angles and stuff like that. If you guys did miss it, definitely go and check that out. But the uh, 65 GTO, man, car of choice for today. I really like this car. Obviously, it's not the same as the Triple X one. I do believe that's a 67 GTO. I didn't check numbers on this before I bought it. Coffee's getting a little bit cold. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit upset. Okay, so 660 horsepower, 7 liter V8 swap looks like. 1,000 pounds, 660 foot pounds of torque. All-wheel drive. No, man. Why? Why would he put it all-wheel drive? 660 horsepower. All-wheel drive GTO. Um, not exactly the way that I wanted to start this, but this is going to be fun, though. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, why is it called the fourth dimension? If you think about it, right, I wish kind of games interlocked almost say a fourth dimension, right? I just wish that games were able to be played seamlessly together. And, you know, if you wanted to relive those experiences and kind of, you know, be one in a sense and kind of, you know, float through them, I think it would be kind of cool if they all kind of intertwined the maps, the gameplay, you know, the menus. If you could choose which ones you wanted to have for each, you know, kind of generation of game that did come out. I don't know. It's just a thought. The guy got me thinking today. That, you know, that kid that was explaining it with the binders. If you guys have seen that video, you guys know what I'm talking about. Or seen Interstellar. Oh, boy. All the drive feels fun, though. But Drift Ram, though, it was a great time, though. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, the biggest thing, though, it just it sucked going down early, man. That was really the biggest thing that I really didn't like about it. And, you know, the fact that it could have been probably prevented for a little bit, uh, the fact that I just tried to, you know, kind of gas it out of there after I kind of spun out, it was just really stupid. Um, I, I got really kind of, not say nervous, but, you know, with all the people around watching and stuff like that, I wanted to kind of, you know, put on a show in a sense. And, you know, when I was trying to get it out, just, you know, smoking the tires, um, just wasn't the best thing to be doing from a dig so obviously um, it was kind of my own fault lesson learned for sure but i definitely want to make those stronger though for next year and also have spares and stuff like that i posted about you know just kind of being a little bit more prepped next time and uh just you know kind of enjoying it a little bit more if i can by using all the tires that i'm bringing man i can't believe that I only use the quarter tires here oh shit there sorry not here but yeah i brought four sets of tires only used about a quarter of a 50% set, uh, you know, in, in those uh, 13 laps that I was out there. So it definitely, right, it sucked, man. It definitely sucked, but we're going to come back stronger next year. This GTO, though, is definitely strong. Holy shit. Handbrake, handbrake. We're in fifth gear wide. Ooh. Okay. That was cool, man. This, right? This GTO is not bad for, what, 2.7 mil we got it for? Instead of wasting 45 to an hour just doing mindless stuff. I like it. We're gonna go down to fourth gear. Yeah, that's not the hold. We're 
gonna try one more quick whip. It's nice to have all-wheel drive with this speed, bro, man. I haven't really got to speed drift like this in a bit. I'm gonna go third gear. Jesus. I know rear-wheel drive guys right now just right eyeing me down here. Thinking that this is the stupidest thing they've ever seen. Obviously, this car is not all-wheel drive, if you guys don't know. Rear-wheel drive, muscle car, the thing is a boat. It floats, man. It definitely does. Today, though, it's floating all-wheel drive. We're gonna toss it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. We're gonna go ahead, take this tune off, and we're gonna drive this thing stock. Okay, we made it back to the garage. C-Class 515. Let's quickly see how much horsepower we are running. 360 horsepower, 6.3 liter. All right, okay. But I do believe, though, on the car, it says it's a 6.5 liter, man. The car is lying to itself. We look at the badge here. 6.5 liter. Look at that. Why is it lying, man? We got the block. Not a big fan of the color, man. Why? Why is it like a purplish blue? I don't like it. Right? This is pretty sick, man. This car looks good. Ooh. Sounds good. Jesus, man. My force feedback is so strong on this one here. Feels actually way better. Jeez, man, it's good to be back here. Holy shit, it's been a long time. Sometimes you gotta just refresh it. Go back to the older maps, man. This is what I wish, though, that games can just live in harmony with all their maps combined into one just giant DLC. I'm surprised Forza has never actually done that. But hey, we can go back, though. Oh, man. Jeez, force feedback just kind of feels a little bit more flowy, but it feels good, though. Remember, this thing is stock right now. Do I not have a handbrake? Oh, does the handbrake not work? Minimal force, let's bring this up. Wheel damper, let's bring this up a bit. It just, right, it feels like it rotates just way too easy. Right, not everything works in the fourth dimension, right? I told you, man. This thing is gonna be wild. I'm excited to do more of these. Let me know your thoughts down below about them. And so many memories on these roads, though. We've done a lot of episodes with the crew, online lobbies. Back when Forza was good, I felt like, right? I mean, I don't know. Everything's better back in the fourth dimension, right? I mean, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can... Oh, I gotta, I gotta remember I don't have a handbrake. Every time. Where is my handbrake? Oh, there it is. Okay. I got it as a button. We're okay. It is hard to find, though, sometimes. Oh, yep. Changing views and everything. Okay, this is right. Jesus, man. Why does the handbrake work, though? I wish it did. Why does this game feel better? I don't understand, man. I don't want to go back right now, right? That's all I'm saying. Let me know your thoughts. What do you prefer? Four or three? This map just felt like it had way more character, man, right? I mean, I don't know. We're going to see if we can swing it in. Was that handbrake on? It was handbrake on, too. Do a little slalom on the benches. No handbrake. I keep forgetting. I don't know why I can't remember that, but... Oh! Okay. Quick, quick chance on the uh, on the roundabout. We got it some big bounce though on that. I do believe there is a jump drift section really close by. Man, come on, man. What, why? Wheel spin though? I'm spinning this shit. It's been so long. We may have to go back to these. We got a BAC mono. Seven grand. Wow, man. I'm trying to remember what was really rare in this game for the wheel spins. I can't remember. If you guys do, let me know off the top of your head, please. Come up the back roads, because we're already down at the bottom left here. We're going to cruise it up this way. Come around, hit the highway, back down. The left up here, I think. Yeah, I don't know, man. The sounds even on this game, they just kind of bring you into it. I don't know, right? I mean, is it just me? What was your favorite Forza Horizon? Leave it down in the comment section. I have no handbrake again. Don't need it. It's just it's nice to have the swing it in. And by the time that I remember that I don't have it, it's too late and I got to correct. This thing does feel pretty good though, stock. Plenty of power. And even the differential's holding up. I was expecting this differential not to be as solid, but... Just manji. Oh! Yep. Sorry. I think, yeah, I took that out. Third gear, we got some good speed coming down these back roads here, so hopefully we can do something nice with it. Third gear, 82, 86 miles an hour right now. I'm gonna flip this in. 
fourth gear if we can, I don't know. Looks like we got a little bit of traffic though up ahead. Just good to be back on something new, man. Something fresh. I miss these jungle roads. Remember these things, man? So many memories flipping on these. Oh my god. Not a bad car. Super stable though. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, I know it floats. You can see it. I had to grip that out. That's a tree. Okay. Somehow we're back on the road. I don't great. Okay. I'm not hey, gonna question Peter, it. I've identified what? another potential recruit for your lineup. Oh, I forgot about that drive guitar recruits. That did not last long, eh? That was a that was a one horizon thing. That was about it. Out of the way, yep. Yeah, this game, I don't know what it is about this game, man. It just it feels so much better. It almost has a Forza Motorsport feel to it, right? It's a little bit harder. I said this before, but I felt like Forza Horizon 4 was just way too easy at times. I mean, not on sim steering, mind you, but I mean, just the regular normal steering. It just, I don't know. It just made the game a little bit easier, I felt like. We need some harder forces, man. Give us some proper physics on these Horizon games, man. Let us have some fun realistically. I think a lot of people would like that, because I feel like a lot of drivers from motorsport just didn't get Horizon because of that, you know, that simple fact, right? It just, they don't want to drive on Horizon physics. I don't blame them if they're really into Forza Motorsport, right? I mean, we go for a 360. Will it hold? Into the forest, of course it, oh, yep, around the tree, man, Jim Connor. Right, we had to bring her back to the garage here. We're gonna do one final build for today. Now this one, we're gonna take to the track, do a nice little drift build. Hop into a drift session, and uh, we're going to see how this thing can slide on the track. Now, mind you, it was a pretty good car stock. Uh, we tossed a little bit of power into it. I think, to be exact, 608 horsepower, A-Class, 667, sport tires, 225s on the rear. I think this is going to be a lot of fun for today. Just imagine, though, right? Imagine if we had the freedom to do something like this and combine all the forces into one. I think it would just make for that perfect game that nobody would want to get off, right? I mean, I don't know, that's just me though. The Maple Valley in the wet, this is where it all started, right? Forza Motorsport 4, this is where the car came into the game. Forza 7 now, right? We're all the way up here. Forza 8 is going to be pretty wild. I can't wait for that next year to hit. It ends in six seconds. No, man, we only get to drive on Maple Valley here for a second. Okay, yep. That was cool. That was that was a great session out there. Cool down, man. We can't be time traveling like that. It gets hot. I still feel that this car sounded the best, though, in Forza Motorsport 4 back in the day. I feel like a lot of cars, they sounded a lot more raw and just kind of more powerful uh, than what actually they seem to be on the track. But I'm going to run with these guys. Tuneless at J Squared 22. And hopefully we can keep up with these guys. Now, handbrake does work in this dimension. That's great. Oh, shit. So does the damage models. Go ahead, whip this in. I haven't actually used this car in a very long time. He's eating it. So is he. Oh, so am I. Okay. <laughs> a little foggy, man. <laughs> I haven't ran on Rio for quite a bit. I do believe I have an angle kit on this thing. And it's just... Oh, yep. Did I just take him out? Hopefully not. No, no, he's still there. No. Ooh. Thanks for those collision stoppers. I don't know what they are. They're working, though. I don't think I've actually ran this section for quite some time, but I will say, though, I missed this car. I'm glad it came back into Forza Horizon 4. Again, though, right? It's been in a lot of different Forzas. I'm glad I got to kind of experience it quite a few of them. Um, Forza Horizon 2, I don't think it was in. Forza Horizon 1, I don't think it was also in either. So it was nice to see this come back into the game uh, for Forza, right? Oh, jeez, so Pim 69, man, I'm coming here. Hold on. I don't even know what my differential settings are. I just kind of grabbed this and ran with it. Oh, sh yeah. Just tires, just tires. Oh, Jesus. Just the whole side of the car. It's not like it's a classic or anything, right? 65 GTO. Imagine that, man, bringing this thing out to the track. And doing something like this to it and going, oh, yep. did that on purpose. Like I said, I was just trying to show you what would happen, right? Let's see if that S15's got it. Are we leaving him? No, we're definitely not leaving him. Okay. He's actually getting closer to me. Ooh, we're getting there, though. This is such a bad idea. Oof. I'm trying to go back into the other dimensions, man. I'm trying to get into the walls. 
it's not happening out here but i did really enjoyed this build today. I liked, uh, you know, kind of the way that we did this. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you didn't like it, well, have some imagination. Jesus, man, right? That's all I'm saying out here. Need for Speed Heat content isn't coming for about two weeks, so I'm right. I'm out here thinking of new things to do. I'm out here time traveling, though. What am I doing out here? Oh, my God, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I want to do one of these again pretty soon, so uh, let me know the car of choice down below, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for yet another... What the... What was that, man? Jesus, time travel lag. I don't know what that is. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, though. Don't forget to slap that like button, and I'll see you guys back here for yet another episode tomorrow. And tell me down below your favorite car uh, in the Horizon series, man. 65 GTO. Who did it best? Ooh, not bad. Look good coming across the line, too, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.